Singapore and China can work together to ensure financial stability, manage risks to prevent future crises, and bolster the role of finance in catalyzing development, said Deputy Prime Minister Hung Sui Kit. Ongoing bilateral projects, from the Suzhou Industrial Park to the Guangzhou Knowledge City, have provided a strong foundation to deepen cooperation in trade and investment, he told China's Vice Premier He Lifeng in a Beijing meeting on April 10. DPM Hang is on a six-day official visit that started on April 7, his first to China since October 2019, to explore ways to strengthen bilateral cooperation. This was his first time meeting Mr. He, who oversees China's economic and financial policies. In their meeting, DPM Hung said his experience in handling two major financial crises in the past taught him about the impact on the economy when the financial system and the real economy become decoupled. He was managing director of the Monetary Authority of Singapore MAS during the global financial crisis around 2008 and principal private secretary to founding Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew during the Asian financial crisis of 1997. Mr. Hang added that in his previous roles, he got to know well Chinese officials such as former Central Bank Governor Zhou Shaochuan and Mr. Guo Shuqing, former head of the China Securities Regulatory Commission. DPM Hang also co-chaired the Joint Council for Bilateral Cooperation with China's then Vice Premier Hong Zheng between 2019 and 2022. The annual top-level meeting between the two countries coordinates flagship intergovernment projects like the Suzhou Industrial Park. So, we have a very strong foundation to continue to deepen our relationship in trade and investment and also contribute to regional and global developments, said DPM Hung. And also how to work together to ensure financial stability. And the role of finance in catalyzing real development and risk management to prevent crises. Mr. He, who spoke earlier, said he looked forward to hearing DPM Hang's perspectives on the next steps for the China-Singapore relationship, as well as trade and macroeconomic policy cooperation. The Vice Premier is familiar with Singapore, having chaired the Sino-Singapore Tianjin Ecocity Investment and Development Co the master developer of the Tianjin Ecocity. Mr. He said, our relationship has its distinctive features because we have specific projects and realizing them has contributed to economic and trade ties, as well as people-to-people -people interactions, bringing them to a new level. This is a very meaningful development, which also speaks to the progress that China has achieved throughout the course of reform and opening up. Singapore's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said DPM Hung and Mr. He discussed ways to strengthen bilateral economic ties, as well as the importance of enhancing financial connectivity and increasing cross-border financial flows between the two countries. They also exchanged views on regional and international economic and financial developments, added the ministry. The meeting took place at the Central Financial and Economic Affairs Commission's office which Mr. He hates. Other officials who attended included China's Central Bank Governor Pan Gongsheng, China Securities Regulatory Commission Chairman Wu Qing, as well as officials from Singapore's National Research Foundation and MAS. Earlier on April 10, DPM Hung met China's Minister for Science and Technology in Hejuan for the first time. Mr. In was appointed in October 2023 and is also the ministry's party secretary. He told Mr. In that China offered an important development model for many developing countries in balancing economic growth with raising living standards and protecting the environment. Issues such as pandemics, climate change and resource utilization are critical not just for Singapore and China, but also for the world, DPM Hung said during the meeting at the ministry. China offers a very important model of development for many developing countries because if you can do it well, in growing the economy but also taking care of the people and planet, 
you can offer a model that uses resources much more efficiently. He said. In his remarks, Mr. Ng said DPM Hung was an old friend of his ministry, with bilateral cooperation in science, technology and innovation reaching a new level under his support. He noted that DPM Hung visited the ministry in October 2018 and met his predecessor, Mr. Wang Jigang. DPM Hung met Mr. Wang again in Singapore in December 2019, when they witnessed the signing of a five-year agreement on cooperation in science, technology and innovation. I look forward to establishing a good personal friendship and working relationship with you through today's exchanges to promote new progress in the cooperation between our two countries in science, technology and innovation, said Mr. In. Earlier in his trip, Mr. Hung met Mr. Hon Zheng, now China's vice president, during which they reaffirmed bilateral relations. Mr. Hang also visited an artificial intelligence research institute at Tsinghua University and will head to Shenzhen and Hong Kong after Beijing.